Welcome back to our channel and thank you for tuning in and thank you for supporting us. But if you're new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please encourage us by doing so. And together, we shall make our Biafran dream a reality. Sachs Medical Doctor cries out. I was fired because I made accurate findings about Mazen Namdekano's deteriorating health condition at the criminal DSS facility. The criminal DSS sacked medical director who diagnosed Mazen Namdekano's deteriorating health conditions for daring to make accurate findings. Mazen Amdekano lamented that his health has been made worse by trial and error medical experiments being carried out on him by other in-house unqualified doctors brought by the criminal DSS. The quick in-house medical practitioners recruited by the criminal DSS who ostensible know next to nothing about Mazen Namdekano's peculiar health condition. The Fulani Nigerian government must release Mazen Namdekano from the illegal solitary confinement DSS detention in line with the unambiguous order of the Court of Appeal, which discharged and acquitted Mazen Amdekano and forbade his further detention. You know, the full and Nigerian government must learn to obey court orders. They must learn to follow the rule of law. Even if the law does not favor them, Enough is enough. Enough is enough. You know, the Fulani terrorists, bandits, resumed killing in Benue State after suspending attacks because they want to allow the fraudulent selection process to hold. The Fulani terrorist bandits have imposed Two million naira fine on Zamfara state communities to allow election hold, and they levied polling units two hundred thousand naira each. But the compromised Nigerian security agencies are not doing anything about it because if it were to be IPOB. Asking the Biafrans to stage a sit at home process, protest, by now the whole place would have been hot. They would have invaded the whole of the Afran region just because of sit at home. And now the Fulani terrorist bandits are imposing fine of two million. For election to hold and for the polling unit 200,000 naira each and none of the compromised Nigerian security agencies are doing anything about it. They are not doing anything about it. Just as the criminal DSS is, is keeping silent as Lagos state election is generating ethnic tension the politicians are using ethnicity to create tension in the state. And the DSS is looking the other way. My brothers and my sisters, this is exactly why Biafrans are asking for a referendum. Because it shows that they are not needed in Nigeria. Yes, it shows that. If their lives and properties cannot be protected, 
by the compromised Nigerian security agencies. Then, they have the right to ask for self-determination because it's a constitutional requirement. It's their human right to ask for that. Even the PDP protested and the protest continued at INEC headquarters where they were demanding INEC to do the right thing by reversing the stolen mandate and that the election is not selection. We Biafrans will be sitting down and looking because Mazin Namdekano and IPOB had warned that Nigerian election is a fraudulent selection process. And now, those who connived with INEC to steal the people's mandate, instead of apologizing, they have gone to assemble senior lawyers to fight their stolen mandates. To keep the flawed election results. Set of them to beg for mercy. They are assembling lawyers in order to deceive the gullibles. You know, referendum is the only solution to all these frauds and selection processes. The Nigerian people must know that Nigeria is not working and they must come together to discuss if they want to separate or they want to stay be together and the conditions and terms to remain together. Enforcing unity is the reason for self-determination struggles and the numerous insecurities in Nigeria because Nigerian indigenous tribes are tired of the impunity going on in the zoo called Nigeria. They are tired of exclusions. They are tired of oppressions. They are tired of dominations. And they are tired of nepotism. They are also tired that their votes do not count. My brothers and my sisters, the only solution, as I've said it time without number, is disintegration. So that Nigeria will disintegrate into workable no nations, just as the Soviet Union did, Czechoslovakia did, India did the same. All the nations of the world did the same. And they are now at peace. Thank you, my brothers and my sisters, for watching this video. And bye-bye for now.